everything heavy when we step up You can't hang with a gang, you a fellow Yeah, everything check, come Stella Welcome beautiful people, I am Chef B, welcome back to my channel We are about to do a get ready with me And girl, I got a missing nail and this is the ghetto s thing ever but not to worry we're about to put ourselves all the way together in the name of jesus okay so um let's start off with the brows so i did my brows off camera because if you guys are regulars on this channel you already know how i feel about my brows if i'm not focused they don't come out right and um, i need them to look somewhat identical okay so what i did is i clean it up with my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. And I'm just blending that in a bit. And then I usually go in with my LA Girl above my brows. But girl, we are out of LA Girl Concealer. So I have to use my Too Faced Concealer in the shade Chai to clean up above the brows. So yeah, I am low on products. Girl, I need to get my life together. So after blending that out and getting my eyebrows all the way together... I am about to do my foundation. But before I do that, I am going to prep and prime my face with the Milk Hydrating Primer. And um, I'm just going to put that all over the face, you know, get it all the way together. And then I have to shake this bottle of foundation and then we got into a little bit of danceration. You feel me? Because the music is playing and um, I'm feeling myself. So the foundation that I'm using is from Too Faced and it is in the shade Chai. Um, I don't even know if I really love Too Faced foundation. I love their concealer, but I don't know how I'm feeling about the foundation. I'm usually a NARS girl, but my NARS just isn't sitting right with me these last couple of weeks. So I got to switch it up. I got to switch it up till I find the correct formula. So um, I put a little bit of concealer on my lids just to blend it out with my makeup with my foundation rather and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little bit of translucent powder and i'm going to set my foundation now i'm trying something new. i've been trying this like new routine for the last couple of weeks and i like it by setting my foundation before i put concealer and highlight so um, I'm going to start off with the lids and um, I use a little bit more concealer on my lids just to prep and prime it for the eyeshadow. And then I'm going to go in with um, a little bit of translucent powder and I'm just going to set the base. Now we're going to be using the Morphe palette and this is the 35M palette. And I'm going to go in first with this brown maroon shade and i'm not gonna go too dark with it it's just gonna be light and then i'm gonna go in with this even more of a more maroon shade to um go into the crease of my lids now i have um what would you call this type of lids i don't have hooded lids but it's kind of creasy it's always been like that so it's like my 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 shadows always crease a little bit so i gotta make sure that i'm blending correctly so i'm just going to continue to do that you guys see i'm going with different shades of this reddish maroon color so i'm doing different shades and i'm just trying to blend it out till i get the color that i am going for that i had in mind Now that I've gotten that all blended out, I'm going to go in with this Morphe um, eyeshadow primer, this base, and then I'm just going to lightly um, spread it around on the lids to where I'm going to be putting a blue shade. So I'm just going to continue to make sure it's even out, make sure it's all in the position that I needed to be in to have the base for the for the eyeshadow that I'm about to use. I got tongue twisted. Now I'm going to be using this Juvia's Place palette. I can't remember the name of the palette. I'm sure it was shown on the screen just now, but not to worry. I'm going to put it in the description box down below. And I'm using this electric blue shade. Like I'm feeling like I wanted something bright, especially with the outfit or the dress rather that I'm going to wear with this later on. So I'm just dabbing that on there and it's so freaking pigmented then i'm gonna go in with this purple ish dark purple hue and i'm just gonna go out in the outer corners of my lids just to like blend it out and then i'm going to create a wing line and like now guys like there is no other pressure 
like freaking creating a wing liner. Okay, like girl, my hands are shaky. Child, steady. I am trying. So, anyways, I did the best that I could. Y'all don't, y'all don't judge me, okay? So later on, I'm going to go in um to like make sure that the blue meets the black corner. So I had to go back in and like touch that up a bit. Now I'm going to highlight and contour and I'm using the Too Faced concealer in the shade Butterscotch to highlight under my eyes, you know, the bridge of the nose, the chin, all that good stuff, you know, the regular and the usual. And then I'm going to go in with the Cocoa shade to create my contour and then I'm going to blend all of that out. Now to set my concealer, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Trans... Did I promise that right? I don't even know. I'm going to use translucent powder in the shade Honey to set under my eyes or wherever I did conceal or contour or highlight rather. So I'm just creating like this under my um, jaw type of thing to make sure that, you know, like everything looks... You get, you get the look. I can't, even, I can't even describe it, but y'all see what is happening, okay? And then I'm going to go back in with the blue, electric blue shade, and I'm going to put it under or on my lower lids. And I did do a little bit of um, black on my waterline. And then to contour even more, I'm going to be using this NYX finishing powder in the shade Mahogany. And this is what I use to or use as my bronzer just to add a little bit of color back into my face, add back that warm look. So I'm just gonna apply that on my forehead and um, on my cheekbones. Now I'm gonna go back in with the finishing powder in Mahogany and I'm just going to contour my nose just a little bit. So I'm only using the powder. Then I'm going to use this Real Technique brush. It's the 300 RT brush and just blend out everything. Make sure that everything looks smooth and all the way together. And then I'm going to be setting with my Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. And then for the lips, I'm going to be using this NYX lip pencil and it is in the shade espresso and i'm just going to you know line the lips i'm not going to overline my lips this time i'm just going to stay within you know like the borders and then i'm going to be taking this huda beauty matte lip color in anniversary and just take my fingertips and blend that out then use the fenty gloss to just complete the look of the lips Then, of course, we got to highlight just a little bit. You know, we're not going to overdo it. I'm using the MAC O Darling highlight. And this is the finished look for the face, girl. Yes, giving face because that electric blue is popping. Okay, do you guys see the color popping out of your screen? Now it's time for the hair and child. <laughs> um, 
I did a wash and go like you guys saw the video and I I think this is like day three or four. I can't even remember, but um yeah, I did go to sleep with um these satin um hair tie in my hair just to keep the hair stretched and all that. So you guys see the little bit of product build up on the corners where I had my little parting and stuff, but not to worry. I know it's looking a little bit crazy, but you know that's how it goes with natural hair. Okay, you gotta work it after you take off your bonnet. Like don't don't be scared, okay? It's gonna gonna get all the way together like leave me alone leave me alone I'm gonna fix it okay so I'll be taking the as I am Jamaica and black castor oil water and I'm just gonna spray this up just to loosen the curls just a little bit so we can get them to be movable so we can style it effortlessly so I'm gonna take my pick and pick the hair and move it around I'm trying to decide if I want to leave it in like a fro or I want to create a style and I just decided that you know what to help with the fro we're gonna create a style and I'm gonna create a little bang the bang bang situation so um I already um take out the hair that I'm going to use for my bangs and then I'm going to spray the water or the Jamaican black castor oil water all over the perimeter of the back of the hair and around the sides and all that good stuff and you know got to spray some water on where I had to build up you know get that 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 white look out of there because that ain't cute that's nasty so um I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to brush the hair in add some more water get the hair movable because I needed to go in the direction that I needed to go in so I'm going to take my um what's this edge booster edge control or whatever and I'm just going to use that to create a sleek updo so i'm just using this comb just to like brush it in a little bit you know and then i'm gonna take this wig band like guys this is literally those elastics that you use to tighten the wig <laughs> i fold it i'm like yo this will be perfect because it have just enough elasticity in it to like stay in place and also give me the tightness and movability mobility oh my god i say movability mobility that i need to like move my hair in the direction that i needed to go to create like a a high puff type of thing so i'm gonna use that tie it up in the back and then i'm going to remove these clips that i use to keep the hair down and i'm gonna take my pick and pick the hair you know get it to move in the direction that i need to move in and just style my hair in how i need it so this is like a um curly bang high puff type of thing i don't know what would you guys call this all i know it is working for me and i am loving it like what like you guys see how we made that work now i'm gonna take my cream of nature shine mist so this is like a finishing spray and i'm just gonna spray that all over my hair just to give me a finished shine look you know make it look like it was fresh and not a four day old wash and go and this is the final look yes girl work it do you see the back everything is just it's popping and i'm loving it now on to the outfit now this dress is from Shein. i did a Shein haul on this dress you guys check out my last Shein haul the shoes is from fashion nova the earrings are from Shein as well and the bag is telfy okay the telfa bag is popping and this is our look you know you gotta you got all that heaviness and thickness going on with the look you already know and this is the final look with everything hair makeup and outfit thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today follow me on instagram snapchat and twitter at damn that's chef if you love get ready with me let me know if you want to see more get ready with me with the hair with the makeup with the outfit okay and i'll see you guys in my next video make sure you're subscribed down below okay and that is all that i have for you guys today go on big up on yourself bye guys Everything heavy when we step up. You can't hang with a gang, you a fellow. Yeah, everything check, come Stella. Let me 